Hi, <laughs> it's Kim. I just thought I'd do a Facebook Live video this morning because um, I know, I don't know, it's just funny how the, I don't know, maybe it's the moon, maybe it's, I don't know, the Earth's energies, I don't know what's going on, but um, I know, you know, I've been feeling it this week and um, and I've heard from some of you guys that you're also, um, you know, fairly emotional and, um, you know, you've all got a lot on. And so I thought, well, today I'm going to talk about emotions and using essential oils for emotional release. I, um, you know, it wasn't actually <laughs> the incident itself that, um, that upset me this week, but it was, um, obviously a lot of um, repressed emotions that I hadn't previously dealt with and um, and as I said in the title of this video it basically came back to bite me and um, yeah and so I, I thought what better time um, you know just jumped out of the shower and I thought I'm going to put on some of the emotional oils <laughs> to help me deal with my own emotional baggage and um, and I thought, well, maybe some of you guys are interested in knowing what oils I use for emotions and how I use them. So, hence this video today. Um, when I first got involved in oils, I was, you know, really into the, um, the physical benefits of them. You know, you'd ask me what oil do I use for this or that or cleaning or beauty or, you know, I know all of those off by heart. But I didn't use the emotional oils. That just seemed fluffy to me and didn't seem to have any basis in, um, in science. So I, I, um, yeah, I guess I just didn't, um, get interested in it until something happened to me. And, um, so basically some of you have heard the story, but I, um, I was driving on the Pacific highway and a car in front of me, um, I was a passenger crossed to the wrong side of the road and had a head on right in front of us. We had to drive off the side of the road to avoid also getting hit. Anyway, I jumped out of the car and went to the guy, my friend who was driving went to the other car and I went to this car, had an elderly gentleman in it who's, um, it was down in Port Macquarie of all places and um, this elderly gentleman, um, he basically had his leg amputated in the accident and right pretty well from the hip and um, he ended up bleeding out and um, at the time I was really in control, you know, I was on the phone to the ambulance, I was, you know, directing traffic, I was doing all the things that, you know, control Kim <laughs> would do, um, but it wasn't until later, um, actually like, you know, uh, two weeks later when I was in America, because I literally, I went, this accident happened and then I flew out to America and I didn't allow myself to grieve or to feel anything. And I was nearly in a car accident in America. And, um, and I was hysterical. I couldn't stop crying. Um, you know, it was a near miss. I, you know, everyone else was like going, why is this chick so upset? <laughs> you know, she wasn't, a, you know, it was a near miss. And yet, you know, what actually happened was that it upset me so much that I was hysterical and I was in tears. And so I, um, and my friends Yvonne and Alina were pouring oils on me and just allowing me to be and to get out whatever it was that I had um, that I needed to deal with. And so therefore I got interested in the oils. So today I'm going to talk about some of the oils that are in the feelings kit. Um, and you can, you know, buy them separately or, you know, use them separately. But I tend to use them in... Um, you know, in the way that the feeling skit was intended because it just helps me to um, deal with my emotions and um, and to process them. So, um, anyway, let's get started before I cry or anything. <laughs> um, okay, so the first oil I'm going to talk about is harmony. Um, harmony obviously brings harmony into our lives. So, this week I, um, I had been most of you know, um, on the dating scene and I'd been seeing a new guy and, um, yeah, he just turned out not to be the kind of guy that I thought and he let me down and it, it wasn't actually the actual, the, the incident that happened this week that was, you know, I guess so upsetting. It was the fact that 
it was a culmination of a whole heap of things with work and being exhausted and and also past hurts from relationships that I obviously hadn't dealt with and so therefore um, you know it really hit me and it hit me hard and um, and so I've had a few emotional days um, obviously the moon and you know the stuff I talked about at the beginning of the video probably played a part as well so so I've been piling on the feelings kit oils um, in particular this one harmony I um, I put harmony on my um, heart behind my ears I wear it as a perfume I absolutely love it I believe in the power of words just as much as I believe in the power of the oils so when I'm applying it I'm actually using an affirmation as well around um, my life is in harmony or I'm going to have a harmonious day work is going to be harmonious I actually use this a lot of work particularly on crazy chaotic days um, so I literally, with all of the oils in the feelings kit, see I need <laughs> two drops actually dropped out. I normally just do one drop and um, I drop it into the palm of my hand and then I energize it going around three times and then I put it wherever it's needed. So on my heart, on my thymus, back of my neck, um, wrists and then just breathe it in. Whenever I use the feelings um, kit oils, I mean, obviously I'm not doing it today because I'm talking, but what I like to do is, um, is have no noise. So no music, no, um, no TV, no background noise, just, you know, at the end of the day or first thing in the morning or when you're home alone, um, find some quiet space and quiet time just for you and, um, and really, you know, allow yourself to go inside and to feel what it is that you're feeling when you use these oils or when you say the affirmations or whatever it might be, but allow yourself to really feel what's going on for you. Um, and sometimes you may not feel anything. And you know, for ages I used the feelings kit oils and didn't feel anything. It's because sometimes it's just such a gentle um, release, a gentle, like it, it creeps up on you. And um, that story I just told about the car accident, when I first started running um, emotional oil classes, um, as some of you you know, are aware, I used to cry telling that story. And I know that I've actually been able to move on emotionally from that because I don't have that same emotional reaction I'm not it's not bringing up tears like it used to I mean I I, I was so upset by not at the time by that man dying but two weeks later because I'd repressed those repress those emotions and our emotions actually have frequency or energy and they actually get stored in the body in an organ that has a similar frequency to the emotion so um, you know anger in the liver, um, I think it's grief in the kidneys, or it might um, actually be grief in the lungs, I'm not sure, I can't remember. <laughs> um, but they get stored in those places and and um, and then they can manifest later on in our lives and come up and, and bite us. So anyway, that first oil was harmony. Um, so, you know, I'm opening up the possibility of having a harmonious day and one um, free from emotional crap like I've been having. Um, the next one is inner child. Um, you either love inner child or you hate it. I think it reminds me of my grandma because my grandma used to wear a perfume that smelled like this oil. Um, once again, I just put um, you know, a drop in my palm, energize it, breathe it in. It's a really, really sweet oil. It's got neroli and orange and other really, really sweet oils in it um, and um, the thing about inner child is that it actually allows us to get in touch with our inner child so to actually go back to that time um, in our lives where we thought anything was possible any goal any dream that you had anything was possible back then um, and then people started telling us no you can't you can't be an astronaut you can't be prime minister you can't be all of those things that you might have set your mind to because people started um, putting limits on your life and basically in a child allows you to be who who you were truly meant to be not you know Kim the mother Kim the aromatherapist Kim the gold young living leader um, not that I'm not all of those things but there's also a me inside and in a child actually allows you to 
peel away those layers of the onion and get back in touch with your inner child and and to believe that anything is possible so um so if that sounds like you then you know perhaps give inner child a go the next oil is um present time um a friend of mine, Kay, actually uses this a lot when we're traveling and she puts it on me all the time because whenever we go overseas, you know, with the different time zones and things like that, you become a little bit messed up, particularly if you do like what we do where we hop from country to country. So present time is a great oil for, um, you know, for being present. Um, and I guess if you're someone who lives in the past, um, you know, what you should have done, what you could have done. And I've certainly been beating myself up these last few days going, what did I do wrong? What, what, what is wrong with me? Why, you know, why do I keep reliving these emotional patterns, <laughs> finding the same kinds of people and, um, yeah, and basically beating myself up about it. So I've been applying heaps and heaps of present time so that, you know what, I'm grateful. I'm living in the present, um, I'm not living in the past and what, you know, what could have been. Um, and also not living in the future. I tend to, and I'm not saying don't set goals, but I'm just saying to actually spend some time living in the present and, um, and actually feeling grateful for all that you've got. And, um, yeah, be, be in touch with, with how you're feeling now, with the emotion that, that's actually going on for you. So, um... This is present time. Um, once again, it's got neroli in it. Um, one drop. Breathe it in. This is probably really boring watching me breathe in these oils, but if you've got some of these oils, maybe you want to try them at home. But um, that's present time. I wear present time on my wrists. Um, you know, it just allows me to be present. And often, you know what, like I have to put this on when um, when I'm doing things with the girls so that I'm not thinking about um, all the things I've got to do. Like I've got this massive to-do list all the time. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes it's important just to be present with your loved ones and to appreciate them and, um, and not be thinking about all the things you've got to do or, you know, all the goals or, you know, um, the past or the future, but just be simply present. And that's a great oil for that. Um, the next one is forgiveness. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you you should forget every bad thing that everyone ever did to you, um, because I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but what I'm going to say is that um, it is important to forgive, and especially to forgive ourselves. I, um, I'm probably my own worst critic. I, I need to forgive myself more than I need to forgive others. I, I don't seem to have a problem with forgiving others. I forgive people who have done some absolutely terrible, horrendous things to me and I still, um, I forgive them and, um, and move on. And, but I don't forgive myself. I'm such a, a critic and, um, especially this week, it was like, what did I do? <laughs> and I, you know, I have to look inside myself and go, you know what, you didn't do anything. Um, it just wasn't the right time, the right person, right space. And so, anyway, I put forgiveness on my heart because I really need to forgive myself more than anyone else. So, the other thing is that if you don't like applying oils topically, like I've been putting them all over my skin, as I said, I've just jumped out of the shower. The best time to put oils on is when you've just jumped out of the shower. I put it on my heart, um, you know, so that I'm forgiving from my heart. But it, um, oils have a vibrational frequency that it doesn't actually matter if you... Um, you know, like one of the oils I'm going to use next, which is release, it goes on your liver. And if you're wearing a dress and you can't put it on your liver, then you just hold it over that area because the energetic vibration of those oils gets from wherever they are into where they're supposed to go. Or put them in the diffuser and breathe them in instead of applying them topically. Whatever works for you, um, you know, just put them on, breathe them in. Um, even just hold them in your hand. Sometimes, um, particularly when my daughters are upset, I give them an oil to hold. <laughs> and I'm really always surprised that, that they calm down and that, um, you know, that it works on that energetic level. So um, anyway, that's forgiveness. Um, Kathy Farmer has a beautiful saying and she says, I lovingly and willingly release all that does no longer serves me. I lovingly and willingly release all that no longer serves me. Um, and I often put forgiveness on my heart and I say that and it's about letting go because the person who's wronged you 
they're probably not given it two seconds of thought. They're not they're not energetically suffering from from what they've done to you, the wrong that they've caused you. They probably don't even realise, you know, they've just got on with life. But you're the one who's carrying it around and you're the one who's suffering from it because you're not um, forgiving them and you're not moving on with your life. So um, if that's you or you need to forgive yourself like me, I beat myself up all the time. Um, I'm not a good enough mother. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing all the right things, I, you know, I should be this, I should be that, and you know what, I can only be, so present time and forgiveness, that's me baby, <laughs> they're, they're my oils, um, next one is release, I wear release as a perfume as well, I often carry a bit of anger, um, and, um, and I find that release is a really good oil to help me to release that anger, so once again, a drop in my palm, it's a beautiful blue colour, I don't know if you can see that, and um, I'm going to put it up my shirt and on my liver. Um, but as I say, if you can't do it, just energetically hold it over the um, over the liver point. Or you can put it in the bottoms of your feet, um, the back of your neck. A really good one that I like for present time, which my friend Justine taught me, is um, one hand on your forehead and another hand on the back of your neck um, with present time. Just to be present and to feel what it is that's going on for you. Um, I've often done massage and I've used the oil release and you don't even have to know what the emotional blockage is or um, if you're just feeling foggy, just feeling not yourself, you, you know, your mood isn't as high as what you'd like it, then release is a great oil to put on. Put on the bottom of your feet, breathe it in, whatever you need. It helps you just to release those blockages that you may not even know were there, but, um, but energetically they're causing, um, you know, shifts or... You know things to happen in your life that that you know you may not want to happen or may not want to be there um the last oil that i use is valor and i always start any massage um, or any reiki treatment anything basically um with valor because valor helps to balance the electrical energies of the body uh, our body is vibrating its energy is moving all the time and um and energy moves at, at different speeds and so therefore valor actually helps us to to balance those electrical energies and um, so I uh, I mean valor has been out of stock for so long so the fact that I even have a bottle of this I've actually got three I've got one in the feelings kit and two other bottles around the house because I absolutely love it it's my favorite oil um, I put it um, on my locus coeruleus, which is the point at the top of your spine where your head rests. I put it on the bottom of my feet. I put it on the girls, particularly, um, you know, on their first day at school, their first day at preschool, I put it on them, their swimming carnival, anything that they need courage and valor for, then that's the oil that I use. And, and the reason that I use it at the end of this um, series of oils is because it gives me courage to move forward. Um, so, you know, like I've, I've, set the environment as being harmonious, I've got back in touch with my inner child, I've been present, I've forgiven, I've released, and now I need the courage to simply move forward and, um, and basically accept what will be. And, you know, acceptance is another oil that I use a lot of. So Bella's Blue as well, um, another beautiful oil. Breathe in. And you can use any of the emotional oils in this way. It doesn't have to be these particular ones. Maybe it's Surrender. Maybe it's Sara. Um, I'm just putting it on the bottom of my feet now <laughs> in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Um, I hold the bottoms of my feet to, um, you know, to basically create an electrical um, circuit, if you like. And um, I find that that's a really great way. So anyway, if you've had a week like mine and it's only Tuesday <laughs> and you want to get in touch with your emotions and to release some of your emotional energy then um, I'd suggest that you pull out some of your feelings oils or your emotional oils and start putting them on there's no wrong or right way to put them on um, as I said before breathe them in put them on topically whatever works for you find a quiet space um, and do some self-love you know like you're worth it you're the most important person in your household if you fall apart who is left to pick up the pieces and um, and do everything so anyway thank you and um, I hope you've got something out of this video bye